Hi, this is Kamil here. Today I'm going to talk about a few basic concepts in photography, namely aperture, depth of field and F number. Those three things are closely related, that's why we'll talk about them together. Now, what is uh, aperture? Aperture is simply an opening in uh, a lens. So the opening can be small. Let me now uh, zoom in so you can have a better look. It can be small or it can be large. Small, large. I hope you can see it clearly. Now, this lens allows me to set it manually. And normally, it's done in a camera and there's no really reason why you should do it on the lens, especially now in uh, the era of all those very funky DSLR cameras. Now, um, the F number is also here. So it's here we have automatic settings. That's how I should take my photos most of the time. And then we have 32, which is the largest F number for this lens. And then it decreases to number four. Um, okay. So these are the basics. Now, what does it mean to you? Right. The bigger the aperture, the more light falls into the camera, onto the sensor. So the less time we need to obtain proper exposure. Right. But uh, also the depth of field gets smaller, unfortunately. Now, what is this depth of field? If you want to take a photo of a certain area, I don't know, one, let's say one meter, uh, not everything will be in focus, not everything will be sharp. So if you focus here, things here will not be sharp, yeah, and the other way around. Now the depth of field kind of tells us how much of it will be in focus. 5 centimeters, 10, 15, 20, and so on and so on. Maybe the whole thing even. Right, so let's summarize. The bigger the aperture, the more light falls in, the less time you need to actually take a photo, but the depth of field is smaller. So the F number is small, depth of field is small, but aperture is big. If we make the aperture smaller, so the F number increases, the depth of field increases, but also the time required to take proper exposure increases as well. So the longer the time, the more shaking, the more blurry things will be in the photos because your hand shakes with the camera, people and other objects in the photo move and that makes them blurry. So you need to learn how to strike a balance between the depth of field and uh, the exposure time and the effect you want to achieve. The only way you can do it is by going and experimenting, taking various photos, a few thousand and, and that's it. So go and enjoy. You can find more information in my blog or on my blog, pentaxbody.com. Thank you for watching.